uh, practice seven. Uh, I like how our guys are, uh, you know, picking up some new things. We're, we're sprinkling in some new concepts, so we had a little bit of a learning curve for some of our twos, but uh, I, I like the intensity with which our guys practice today. We had a chance to work some up uh, different situations. We worked some two minute, some red zone, uh, getting our guys to focus in on those situations at the end of the uh, practice. We had a couple two point plays, having them understand types of things that are going to happen is, is critical because you got to win those situations. So uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow's practice, be a little bit longer, a little more hidden, and uh, you know, we'll have a little bit more competitive stuff going on. Now that you guys have been in full pads for, for two days, what can you tell about these guys the second year? Uh, I, I think uh, there's probably a bigger disparity between our ones and twos right now than a year ago. We we're still trying to figure things out. We got to get our twos going. Uh, but most places I've been, if there's not a, a pretty big disparity, you may not have enough ones. Um, but our, I think our guys have been practicing, you know, pretty physically since the pads have been on. Uh, we were in shorts today, but pads are cracking pretty good. And if you can practice in shorts and have a physical practice and have guys on your feet, that's 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 the best of all worlds. Um, when it comes to what do you want to take away the most from scrimmaging? Well. Tomorrow, it's, it's not going to be a live scrimmage per se. There'll be some uh, situational scrimmage scripted already. Some of it will be play the game. Uh, to me, I want our guys to, one, get lined up, play our, our defense fast, and then hopefully make that leap from just getting lined up and playing a technique to becoming playmakers. Understand that, hey, this is a third down. I got to get out the field. Let's go make a play. Uh, we're in a red zone. I got to take the ball away or make them kick. You know, when we're putting those types of situations, it changes you from just practicing plays to practicing the game and, and understanding how to play the game. I, I think we're getting closer to that situation with our guys. The last time we were able to see a full practice of Lone and see you in the middle in your, your nickel formation, what does that combination give you guys? Well, uh, both those guys are, are big. CU's a little bit more of a uh, push pocket guy. Lone's an explosive guy. He's got some really good quickness and pop. And so you got to, you know some combinations of stuff you can do with those guys. How much of a jump does CU made just from a situational understanding and an aggression standpoint? Uh, a, big, a big jump. Now, he's still got a ways to go. Uh, but from when he got here in the summertime, coming from Japan, having played at a very yeah, rudimentary level over there, uh, this has been a big you know, adjustment for him. Uh, but he's, he's attacked it every day. Uh, he comes with a great attitude. And I, the key for him is to get confidence. And I think he's, the more he's having success, the more confidence he gets. And then with that, he's going to play better. One guy I wanted to ask about who showed out, at least on Monday when we were here, was Trey Turner. He had a couple yeah. of receptions then. How has he come back from injury? I, I've, I've been pleased with, with, with the progress Trey's made. Yeah, he's he's flashed at times. Uh, we've always known he's had the ability, uh, but he had an issue staying healthy. And so when you get into the season and you're not healthy, you know, the, the train keeps moving on. Uh, but he didn't let that deter him. He, He's put his uh, his time in the playbook. You can tell he still has some rust on him because he doesn't have the reps that a lot of those other guys do. But you know he's understanding our defense much better, which is allowing him to make plays. Deron Brown started life as a safety, then went to linebacker, and now he's then he was back at safety, and now he's back at linebacker. Is that the? Uh... Yeah, he's a proverbial tweener. Uh, <laughs> uh, Deron's got a lot of ability, but he's got that that, that tweener ability. You know, he, we're looking at, at all the three and four wide teams we're playing to be able to have a linebacker like him that can cover backs out of the backfield, really be good in coverage, and still be a physical tackler. I think he brings a skill set that's a little different than some of the other linebackers. So he's been, he's been in the middle, it seems, at least from, from when I'm trying to scribble down numbers. He's been sort of the yeah, he's our wheel line, Yeah, he's a wheel linebacker for us right now. So uh, in that, he's, he's in the middle, he's in run fits. You know, some of those are a little foreign to him. Uh, so we got to get him some reps there, but, but he's, he's picking it up. For, to be able for, to have a guy that can turn and cover and essentially move from a will to a safety in, you know, depending on what play it is, how valuable is that? Well, again, it gives you a, a really flexible tool that it, it makes it a little bit confusing on an offense. How are you going to identify guys? It makes it confusing on us when we have to figure out what he's playing. Yeah, you know, are, are you in a 4-1 you know, you know, defense, you know, with, with just a single linebacker or a 4-2 with two linebackers? And, you know, we're trying to develop that so that we have that flexibility. You guys got Rusty back for, I think, a, for a lot of us, an unexpected year. Uh, what is he bringing back for you guys? I, I really like his leadership right now. Uh, I think he's done a tremendous job working his tail off to change his body. You know, a year ago when he got here, he wasn't nearly as lean or as big. And 
You can tell the, the, the hard work's been put in. He's really bought into the program, uh, wants to be a leader, and, and I think he realizes this is his last shot. I'm gonna you know, give it everything I got, and uh, I've really been pleased with, with the effort we've gotten from him. It's about, uh, it's six months to the day, actually, when you guys played Washington State here in the fall. And you guys, that was probably your best defensive performance of last year. How do you feel like you've grown since then off of that performance? Well, you know, we're, we're, we're a different team than we were last fall. And we're trying to develop this team to play at that level consistently. Um, you know, things lined up for us that game. Sometimes, you know, you have an opponent and that, that just works out. And we're really pleased with the effort of our guys from last year's team. But this year's unit's got to identify its own personality. They've got to decide what kind of defense are we going to be, what are we going to tolerate, what standards are we going to hold ourselves to. And I think our guys are making really good steps that way as far as being you know, a more together team and holding each other accountable. All right, cool. Thank Thanks, you. I appreciate it.